So, I managed to get this beauty off of a uh, Facebook buyer's page for £10. Uh, and uh, it's not really that rare. And I already have all of these models already boxed in a series I was planning on uh, unboxing. But when this came up, I thought I could do this instead. So, this may be sacrilege to some people who like to keep things in boxes, but I like mini toys and their displays and stuff. So, um, I thought I'd do it anyway. Give it a go. So, this is the um, Star Trek Micro Machines. And I think this says from 1994. And it contains a Cardassian Gala class ship, Ferengi Marauder, Romulan Warbird, USS Reliant, Romulan Bird of Prey, Klingon D7, Klingon Bird of Prey, Shuttlecraft, Borg Cube, Deep Space Nine, Runabout, Enterprise D, Vorcha class starship. USS Excelsior, original Enterprise, and the limited edition Enterprise A. Now, all I've just noticed is that these three, how they're done, is how they're released in the individual sets. But this is the limited edition collector set. I had no idea that the Micro Machines was made by a company called Galoop. <laughs> so, we'll do a bit of an unboxing. I'll show you the actual ships. Really, I must have been more ten. It wasn't until I got to school and uh, me and a couple of friends really got into Star Trek. I kind of realised what I had and I started collecting them again. But, uh, this is when they still sold these sets. But as a 13 year old without a job, I didn't really have any money to spend on them. So now I'm 30 and I make money. I buy all the toys I can. <laughs> so, a little bit of that is my dude history there. So, shall we have a look? I bet they're all going to fall out.
the Enterprise. Quite a nice model. God damn it. These are actually really quite detailed, I thought. And uh, yeah, I love I love the shape of this Enterprise. When you compare this to Abrams bubble bloody thing. <laughs> accepted a tenner for it. Well excited. Ten pound please. They don't go for much more on eBay to be honest. But um oh, that was it. Me and another friend at school. We made a stuff star animation <laughs> with these. This is the uh, Romulan bird prey. The bird, which I'm fairly sure aren't native to Romulus. <laughs> the, uh, I quite like this design. <laughs> now, these stands are a lot better than the uh, other Star Trek models I've been using. the USS Excelsior NCC 2000. Now the detail is really good on these. It's a, you know, a bit bendy, <laughs> but it's uh, great. I used to love this ship. It was always my favourite after the Enterprise D. Always. Oh, there might just be enough stands for these. Slips on. Oh, pew. <laughs> <laughs> next. The Klingon Bird of Prey. First seen in Star Trek 2, I think, the Wrath of Khan. Or was it Star Trek? Yeah, fairly sure Star Trek 2. Or might be the 3. I forget sometimes. Uh, classic ship. Obviously, everyone knows about it. Again, the detail on this one, including the Klingon on the wings, you can just see there. Oh, it's a shame they don't make micro machines anymore. Those things are awesome. As a kid, I had this uh, city. It was a toolbox. <laughs> uh, now we have the USS Reliant. Uh, the battery might die, so the video might not be complete. Oh, just these are, these things are great. I'm really happy I've spot these again. <laughs> great detail. And there's always one or two where the stand doesn't go on properly. Come on, get in there. Ah. Nope. <laughs> but that one stands anyway. Uh, let's have to get the say. This one as a kid, but uh, I loved it. Just sleek, the movie ones. It's, uh, it's just great, absolutely great. I'm getting some real nostalgia from this, and some not so much because a lot of this stuff I only had now, <laughs> not as a kid, because I couldn't afford it, and now I can. <laughs> I 
do believe this one is the Goddard. No, the Berman. God, they just don't make toys like this anymore. Well, they do, just not as cool. Obviously. That's a very loud engine outside. Next up. limited edition sets which comprised like a number of the three box the number of box sets they did. So they released them um, normally they released in boxes of three for like a fiver. And then they released the box sets limited edition which always had the um, special edition with it. So the Enterprise A was the edition with that one. There's another one the second and third box sets go for ridiculous money. And uh, I can't really justify that to the wife. Box fee is very nice. It's actually more detailed than the bigger the big sphere um cube you can get. <laughs> design. Big hole in the middle. Now, the warbird has a hole in the middle so the engines can see each other to make the dark the uh, small black hole in the middle of it power it. True fact. Frankie Marauder.
kind of looks like a very sad face. <laughs> One more side. <laughs> right. I think I've had enough caffeine. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please don't be angry. I opened the Star Trek one twice. <laughs> Thanks for watching.